Did you know the type of refrigerant inside your heat pump could be the difference between peak efficiency and wasted energy? Stick around as we uncover the real secret to the perfect heat pump so you can make the best choice for your home. When it comes to heat pumps, most people focus on things like brand, size and efficiency rate. But one of the most important factors, one that often gets overlooked, is the refrigerant gas inside. The refrigerant is what actually moves the heat from outside your home to inside and the type used can make a huge difference in performance, efficiency and even safety. In this video, we'll compare two of the most common refrigerants in modern heat pumps, R32 and R290. We'll explain how they work, which heat pump models use them and their suitability for different climates in Scotland. I'm also going to touch on R410A, a refrigerant which contains R32. By the end, you'll know exactly what to look for when choosing a heat pump. Let's get started. So what is a refrigerant and why does it matter? Refrigerants are special gases that absorb heat from the air outside and transfer into your home. Every heat pump has a refrigerant that runs through it a cycle of four stages. Evaporation. The refrigerant starts as a low pressure, low temperature liquid inside the evaporator coil. As it absorbs heat from the air or ground, it transforms into a gas. Compression. Next, the gas moves into the compressor where its pressure rises. As the pressure increases, so does the temperature. Condensation. Now, the hot, high pressure gas enters the condenser heat exchanger. Here, it releases heat to warm the hot water tank or indoor space, cooling down and condensing back into a liquid. Expansion. Finally, the high pressure liquid passes through an expansion valve where the pressure drops. This cooling effect lowers the refrigerant temperature, preparing it to start the cycle again in the evaporator. This cycle repeats over and over, keeping your house warm even in freezing temperatures. But before determining which refrigerant is better, it is essential to evaluate how each refrigerant behaves at different stages of the refrigeration cycle and how its thermodynamic properties influence overall system performance. In a monoblock heat pump, the entire refrigeration cycle happens in the outdoor unit. In a split heat pump, the condenser heat exchanger is contained in the indoor unit, reducing heat loss, especially in cold weather. Comparing R32 and R290, what's the difference? There are three main refrigerants used in heat pumps today. R410A was introduced in 1991 to replace R22, which was harmful to the ozone layer. However, it has a very high global warming potential of 2088 and will be banned in new systems in the UK from 2025. R32 is a major component of R410A, but has a lower global warming potential of 675. It was introduced by Daikin in 2012 and is now widely used in their modern heat pump. R290, or propane, is a natural refrigerant with an extremely low global warming potential of just three. It's the most efficient, but comes with some safety limitations. It is only used in monoblock heat pumps. Stay tuned for more on this. Efficiency and performance. The efficiency of a heat pump is measured by its coefficient of performance, or COP. This tells us how much heat is generated for each unit of electricity used. R290 is the highest COP, making it the most efficient, theoretically. However, another important factor is the evaporating and condensing temperature. The smaller difference between these two temperatures, the higher the efficiency. R290 has a lower condensing temperature than R32 and 410A, which improves its performance. On paper, R32 and R410A have lower boiling points than R290. This might make you think R290 should be more effective in cold climates because of its higher latent heat capacity, allowing it to extract more energy from the air. However, we have found R32 and R410A to outperform R290 in colder climates for a variety of reasons, the most important being the design of the system. R290 operates at a much lower pressure than R410A and R32. This reduces stress on the compressor, leading to potentially longer equipment lifespan and less wear and tear. However, because of its strict charge limits, reaching the same heating capacity with R290 requires larger components such as bigger heat exchangers and longer pipework. This makes the design of the system, including the pipework, crucial for ensuring efficiency and reliability. Even though R290 is the most efficient refrigerant, it has one major drawback, flammability. Because of safety regulations, R290 systems have strict charge limits, meaning they can only use a small amount of refrigerant. Less refrigerant means less heat transfer, so the system must be designed with highly optimized components to compensate. Larger homes may require a bigger R290 heat pump compared to an R32 alternative. Safety regulations also require a larger clearance around an R290 heat pump. 
It requires a one to two meter distance from any doors and windows, as well as positioning in a well-ventilated area. This ensures if there were a leak, the risk of the home is minimized. As mentioned earlier, another major limitation of R290 is that it can only be used in the monobox system. Unlike split heat pumps, which house the condenser or heat exchanger within the indoor unit, protecting it from freezing temperatures, monoblock systems are fully exposed to outdoor conditions. This increases the risk of heat exchangers freezing and bursting in extreme cold, a very expensive part to replace. For this reason, even though R290 is theoretically the best refrigerant for cold climates, in regions where sub-zero temperatures are common, an R32 split system is often the more reliable option. R290 heat pumps are best suited for coastal regions like Aberdeen, Glasgow and Dundee where temperatures stay relatively mild. In these spots, the R290 systems truly shine where conditions are kinder. They are also ideal for homeowners who want the lowest environmental impact. R32 heat pumps are better suited for areas like the highlands and borders. They also perform better in larger heating homes as they have a much higher heating capacity. As R32 has a more generous charge limit compared to R290, its efficiency in heating larger homes is quite remarkable. For R32 heat pumps, we recommend Daikin, particularly the Altherma 3 HT, if you're in a particularly cold climate. The system is designed for older and larger homes and boasts an impressive minimum operating temperature of minus 28 degrees Celsius. For R290 heat pumps, the Valent Aerotherm Plus model block is one of the best models currently available. Choosing the right refrigerant for your heat pump isn't just about efficiency, it's about what works best for your climate, the size of your home, and what type of system you are using. R290 is the most efficient refrigerant, but its flammability and charge limitations make it less practical for larger homes in very cold climates due to being limited to a monoblock system. R32 offers a good balance of efficiency, low environmental impact, and cold weather operating, making it a great choice for a wide range of heat pump systems. A well-designed heat pump system should always be tailored to your home to ensure maximum efficiency and reliability. That is why it is so important to work with an installer who understands refrigerant science and can design the most efficient system for your location. We offer both R32 and R290 heat pumps, and with the right design and considerations, have seen exceptional results for both. Thanks for watching. Leave your questions in the comments and let us know which refrigerant you think is best, R32 or R290. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tips on heat pumps and home energy efficiency. See you in the next video.